Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan. Well, we've got severe tropical cyclone Polar up to our northeast and just west of Tonga. This is it up here. Category three now, so it's a little stronger than it was yesterday. It's not likely to get any bigger than this though, and as it drops further and further south away from the equator, it should start to weaken. So it's probably got about another 24 hours left of being a, a pretty big storm, and then it should weaken as it runs into this big area of high pressure around New Zealand. So we've got a bit of a southerly across the country today, a little breezy in some spots, but otherwise high pressure is now moving into New Zealand and things are about to warm up as we go on towards the weekend. But let's start with the cyclone. So this is the latest tracking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre, the US government. They're showing it tracking south to southwest towards the upper North Island of New Zealand, but just at the last minute it's going to turn away to the east and that's because there is building high pressure out here, an invisible brick wall that's pushing back against it. And the Fiji Met Service agree, they are also picking the same uh, the same tracking, category three for the next 24 hours or so. It might weaken earlier than that. Then it curves around and uh, moves out towards the east. And in fact, the big high coming into the New Zealand area may well push the storm back into the tropics like we saw with Oma um, last week. So this is where we sit for uh, lunchtime Friday. So you can see Polar up here, Cyclone Polar, west of Tonga. You can't actually see Tonga, but it is just out to the east. So uh, hopefully Tonga won't really be badly affected by this big storm, but I do expect very rough uh, marine conditions around there. In New Zealand, we've got a bit of a uh, southeasterly flow, maybe a light shower first thing around Northland, otherwise a dry day. Into the weekend now, this is about the closest we think Cyclone Polar will get towards the upper North Island. So there'll be a little bit of a southeast breeze between that big high and the storm up here in the subtropics. So southeasterly is a little bit breezy in some of the more coastal exposed places and a couple of showers, just light drizzly sort of stuff, nothing major, but a couple of showers also caught up and bigger swells coming into the uh, eastern side of Northland and maybe later on it might even affect Great Barrier Island, Coromandel and East Cape. Pretty borderline, but it's just, we're just saying there could be some rough uh, rips, tides, you know, um, currents and the odd big wave coming through as a result of that storm that is offshore. But the high is really the dominant feature. So by the time we get to Sunday, it's pushing in further, just a couple of showers remaining around Gisborne and Northern Hawke's Bay. The storm out here going eastwards now and starting to weaken quite a bit. And so by the time we get to next week, by Monday, high pressure fully in charge around New Zealand. The storm is gone and we've got calm weather for most of next week and it gets hotter with the winds coming in from the northwest or the west. A number of places are going to get up to 27, 28 degrees, plenty of dry weather. The North Island and the Upper South Island don't have a lot of rain coming and that's where we end the video today. This is the two week out, uh, outlook for rainfall. So the total accumulation of rain over the next 14 days. And I've circled this area up here because some people find all the colors a little confusing sometimes. But if you look at this area, pale blue and dark blue, it is down here. So we're talking about 0.2 millimeters up to maybe five, maybe 10 in this area with blue. So this is very dry for 14 days. Heavier rainfall down around Fiordland and South Westland, you're way up down, uh, way up around the uh, 100 to 150 millimeter mark. So plenty of rain falling in that corner, but most other places do look very dry. Hopefully this rain you see out at sea, this is heavy rain in this area. Uh, hopefully that will start to drift in towards New Zealand around the middle of March. That's the next chance for rain nationwide. Otherwise, we've got mostly dry weather for most of the country for the next couple of weeks, for the first half of March, pretty much. That is all from me. We'll update you again on Friday with the latest for the weekend, the latest on Polar, and any potential rainmakers coming sooner than this. That is all from me for today though.